It's that time again for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Let's have a look. Yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and I'm coming to you from the winter boat parking facility here in locked down Vasiliki in Greece. Yeah, we have also, as I'm sure most of you have got, have the situation of being in lockdown at the moment. Um, we can go out, but with a permit. And um, one thing the permit doesn't allow is to go out single-handing a Hobie 16 in maybe 25 knots of wind. I think maybe 20 knots of wind, maybe they'll let that go. But 25 is where they're drawing the line. Um, although it's not particularly clear if there is a line there. Anyway, we shall see. So anyway, this week's Show Us Your Cat, very exciting as usual. We've got some very different boats we're going to be looking at, although they're all quite similar in that they have all got two hulls, which is one of the qualifications for Show Us Your Cat. Although you may be crying out, but you've had some trimarans on there. Yes, that is true. Two or three hulls, but sorry to discriminate against single hulls. I think if we start having single hull boats on Show Us Your Cat, we'd have to stop calling it Show Us Your Cat and maybe it'd then be called Show Us Your Boat. Anyway, let's jump in and see what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. So this week we're starting off, I think, by heading to Italy. Not sure where in Italy or even if it is Italy, that's my best guess, um, where we have Luigi and Gabriel who have got a Hobie Dragoon. Looking at it, thinking it must be around a 2004 boat, but I could be wrong. If Luigi or Gabriel are watching this, then just pop it in the comments below where it is that you were sailing and what year the Dragoon was. That would answer a lot of questions. But uh, for those of you who are not familiar to the Dragoon as a type of boat, it was basically brought out by Hobie Cat in 2001 as a boat for younger people between 10 and 15 years old, depending on the size, to get into some performance cat sailing as a training boat. Uh, reasonably inexpensive. Uh, it's got a double trapeze and a spinnaker so for the kids to move up into like a Formula 18 type boat afterwards it was an excellent stepping stone back then. Now there's a lot more boats, a lot of different boats available uh, that do that job but back then the Dragoon was a really good introduction especially for the younger kids to get into some good cat sailing. Um, we can see here that Luigi and Gabriel are certainly loving their Dragoon and giving it the beans at every occasion. Uh, we can see this Dragoon has seen some action, but I know from experience of our Dragoons that we have here, uh, these boats will go on forever. And uh, that's another great thing about the Dragoon. It's 13 feet long, 2.2 meters wide, 11 metres of sail area on the main and jib and then an additional 10 metres on the spinnaker. This is a great choice. And like with most kids' boats, uh, they make excellent single-handed boats for adults. Um, so very nice too. So thanks very much, Luigi, for sending in those pictures and video of your boat wherever it is in the world. Uh, so keep up the good sailing once you've come out of lockdown and you're able to get out again. Okay, next we are heading to Brazil, near to Sao Paulo. We've got Avare Town and near to Avare Town is the Jurumirim Reservoir, where we have Murillo, who is sailing a Hobie 16. I'm thinking it must be around a 1980 boat. 
because these are not original Hobie sails, which makes it very difficult to put an age on the boat. But we can see that this 16 is still in extremely good condition, although Murillo badly needs to get his hands on an original Hobie 16 main halyard. As you can see by the main uh, sail slipping down because he hasn't got the proper main halyard on there. So if you are in the Sao Paulo area and you happen to have a spare Hobie 16 main halyard, perhaps in your garage or shed, then uh, get in touch through this video and um, Murillo could have his sail at the top of the mast. But thanks very much, Murillo, for sending in those pictures of your great looking Hobie 16 and what a great place it is that you sail it. Next, we're heading to the USA, to North Carolina, on the Crystal Coast at Cape Lookout. We have got Steve, who has got a Hobie 16 1984 Pink Rocker. Steve has had a number of Hobie 16s through the years. The first one that we can see here is a 1981 that Steve actually bought in 1981, brand new. And he's at, he actually kept hold of that boat until 2004. That really shows what well-built boats the Hobie 16s have always been. Then... In 1997, he bought this 1982 Hobie 16 for only 600 US dollars with a trailer. So that would have been when it was only 15 years old for a Hobie 16. That's as good as almost brand new. And what an absolute stunner that boat is and must have brought a lot of pleasure to Steve and everybody who went sailing with him on that one and then more recently Steve has got his hands on this boat which is a pink rocker uh, with the pink rocker sails this is a 1984 Hobie 16 here we can see the pink rocker pictured with another 16 with um, the double plum sails which I'm glad to tell you that Steve is now the proud owner of that set of sails as well. I think if you can get hold of some of these classic sail colours for your 16, then you really are winning. Because throughout the ages, the Hobie 16s have had some fantastic sail colours. And it would be nice to get hold of some of those classics. So well done, Steve, for that double plum. That is a nice looking set of sails. So here's the pink rocker, which is the one that Steve settled on and the sails that he's settled on these days. And Steve is giving us a feature for how do you get yours there? Steve's first towing vehicle that he's used for his 16s was a 1976 MGB. And He's actually had five different towing vehicles since then to now when he's got the Volvo XC70, but still the same trailer. That tells you something about the quality of a Hobie 16 trailer that will last for a long time. So there we go. How do you get yours there? And here we can see Steve's pink rocker on the boat with a number of other 16s. So featured on the beach here, we've got a 1980 Hot Flash, a 1984 Plum Crazy, 1980 Carumba, and a 1981 Cat Fever. Steve does a lot of travelling with his Hobie 16 on the east coast of the USA. He's been as far north as racing around the Statue of Liberty, would you believe, and as far south as camping at the Florida Keys. Very nice. Well done, Steve, for keeping the dream alive there on the east coast of the USA and really getting the most out of your Hobie 16 that you possibly can. So there we go. What a great look at various different Hobie 16 sail colours there have been over the years. Thanks very much again, Steve, for sending in all those pictures. 
Um, so, yes, yeah, show us your cat. Thanks to everybody who's been sending in pictures and video of your boats. If you'd like your boat to be featured on an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, then all you need to do is to either email me some photographs or video or both, which is always nice. All the details are in the description below. If you have already sent in pictures or video, aha, I haven't said this before, but you've already been featured if you've sent in pictures or videos before. I could tell you why that is, is because I have now not got anything left in the backlog of pictures and video of people's boats to be featured. If you have actually sent in pictures to be featured, but you haven't been featured, then unfortunately it looks like your email got lost somewhere out there in uh, the cloud maybe or some part of cyberspace so maybe you could send it through again or maybe you've already been featured and you missed that episode but anyway so if you were to send in videos or photos now of your boats you would actually be featured next week wouldn't that be nice yeah so keep the pictures coming and show us your cat we'll keep going on otherwise i'll just be uh, showing you different angles of Hobie 16 number three every week from Wild Wind here in Vasiliki in Greece. Also, I was thinking that maybe from next week, I'm looking at either Thursday or Friday, but um, I'll do it according to what the weather's going to be like. I was going to go live on YouTube. Uh, perhaps the first live video that I would do would be a live assembly of a Hobie 16 platform. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. A live assembly of a Hobie 16 platform. I think it would be great. Uh, we could have a chat in the comments um, as we're going through the procedure. Very nice um, and quite entertaining, I'm sure. And then if that is successful, perhaps the following week we could do a live rudder tuning, maybe. As I'm sure for those of you who've been watching these videos for a while know, I am quite in to rudder tuning. So um, we'll go through a bit of that. And then we'll take it on step by step each week, especially while we're in this situation where we are not allowed to go out on the water. So very nice too. So finally, thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel uh, through Patreon or through the Total Joyrider store online. At this time, due to the global situation, the totaljoyrider.com empire unfortunately has had to crumble and I can no longer supply a lot of the stuff in fact all that's there at the moment is flags I'm going to try to update it in the next couple of days I've got some hats like this which I have got here in Vasiliki so if um you're not going to be able to pop down, I wouldn't think. But if you want me to see about getting one in the post to you, just uh, send me an email and I'll get one in the post to you for a very good price. Although I'm not sure how the postage is just now, but we can roll the dice on that if you want one. I've also got here, I've got flags and stickers. So if you want to get your boat stickered up and looking sweet. Uh, the stickers can also be sent from a location in the USA so if if you're in the USA and you want to get some Joyrider TV stickers on your boat then again send me an email and we'll get that happening so you can have your boat looking Joyrider TV sweet uh very nice indeed so there we go I think that pretty much covers it if there's anything I haven't covered then apologies for not covering it but um, thanks for watching. Do give the video a like if um, you've got the time just to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel uh, because that's all nice too. I'm just off quite a major milestone 
in the amount of subscribers that I've got. So it'd be nice to get to that milestone at some point, but I'm getting pretty close. Uh, so that'll be an exciting day. Um, otherwise, thanks again for watching and we'll be back next week, probably Thursday or Friday live, but I'll leave a message on YouTube to say what day that will be. And um, there will be somewhere near here, but hopefully there'll be a bit of sunshine, a bit of glamour, get some drinks and um, we'll have a lovely time. So thanks very much. See you then, then.